know everyone's probably mad at me, or at least some people are mad at me, because I've not filmed a video in forever. Hey guys, it's Jesse here. So for today's video is going to be a story time video because there are a lot of stories that a lot of people don't know about me. Um, like, I don't know, I like telling stories. So this one is one, it's one of my very past stories. This happened when I was about five or six and I was in soccer at the time and right now I'm in cheer so yeah and um I don't remember every single detail about it but I wanted to share like it's gonna start off with like more like past stories and then I was gonna go to a real recent this happened like two weeks ago so we'll get to that maybe in like oh another video so yeah so this is like a kind of talk to me or I don't know what to call this I don't want to call it like story time because Simply Nessa with Tina's already have that and this is kind of inspired by her. I don't know, I just like telling stories so I thought why not do a like, story time video. So let me know in the comments below um, what I should call this little series I guess. Alright, I'm going to start with like, okay, so we were I was at a soccer game with uh, two of my friends and we're, I'm still friends with them now. Um, we've been friends since kindergarten and I started playing when I was in kindergarten. It was like a really, I don't know if it was summer or, it, I don't even know. But I remember it was like a Saturday and it was like really hot out and um, we were, I was in, on the sidelines and, okay, anyway, so we, it was like, it was the sidelines and um, we was, I was watching my team and I was just eating a snack and behind, so behind it was just woods and when we had soccer practice we would always kick it in there and we would just kind of um go back there and get it but that's not the point I just wanted to add this is what see detail but right in front there was this pole type thing it like looked like this it was just like two poles and there was just a pole on top and it was pretty high and I thought it was like a low pole but it was like a pretty like high pole I don't know what it was for but me and my friend, I don't know even know if she played on it, but I like to play, out, play on it. I like to like spin around on it. I like to hang from it, like jump up and try to grab it. I keep in mind, I was a short, I was a short person. I was like, I don't even know, like three feet. I'm just kidding, no, but like, I was really short, so I couldn't. I would always try to reach it. Then my friend would have to like help me up and get up there and stuff like that. Oh, you know, I was just like playing around the pole, and I was just the whole like every time I was on Thailand, it's a lot because I sucked. Um, I would play on the pole. And I was just kind of like, I wouldn't really like do much on it. I would just kind of like spin around on it over and over again. And like I would, like if I like got like really dizzy, I would like grab onto it and just kind of like, kind of, not like hugging it, but just kind of like grabbing onto it. Just kind of like, just to tell myself from being dizzy so much. Nothing, like, you know, nothing really happened when I played on it. But like one day, so that one day I was just, well, I played on it the entire game because I wasn't called in except for like at one point. And then it was a timeout, and then she put me back out again. But, keep in mind, guys, I don't know, like I said, I don't know every single detail of the story, but I'm trying to tell it the best of my ability. So this could be a 20 minute video, this could just be like a 8 minute video. Uh -huh. Alright, anyway. So, then we get home, and about a week later, my eye starts to bug me a lot, and my mom doesn't know. It could be allergy or it could just be something in my eyes. So she checked it in my eyes, she didn't see anything. So so then about two two more days passed or something like that. And my eye is getting worse and worse and worse. So my mom decided to take me to this little eye clinic thing that's like two minutes away from my house. And we found out that there's a piece of vinegar. 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 Wow, okay. But there was a piece of metal in my eyeball. And um, at first I was like, what? Like, and I was like so confused. Like, how did that happen? And I was like, oh, wait. Um, <laughs> I've been playing on that pole. And that pole must have, when I was like grabbing onto it, I could have like rubbed my eye and then like a piece of metal went into it. So the eye doctor recommended for me to just not rub it or... He just gave us some drops to see if it would just kind of fall out, I guess. Like, because like the drops would sting my eyes, so it would make me cry a little bit. So maybe the piece of metal would just kind of fall out of there. 
But that fit didn't happen, and we had to go back to the eye doctor, and he said the only op the option is to get surgery. I was like, oh god, and I was scared. I was a six year old, and I was I had a piece of metal in my eye. We, my mom said, well, we'll think about it because I, she could tell from my face. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So we waited about. A couple of days from my mom and aunt, I was like, Mom, I really don't want to get that surgery. I can just deal with the eye drops. It's fine. And she's like, Jesse, this is like the only way that this is going to get better because you can't really, can you see out of that eye? I'm like, not really, but I can use the drop. She goes, exactly. You need the surgery to get that out of your eye. I'm scared. I remember I was like falling my eyes out. So then the day of the thing arrived, I'm just totally skipping ahead here because I don't remember everything. And I remember I walked in there and I was shaking. I was so scared. And this is this is like my first really major surgery that I actually remember. My other one, I was a very teeny, teeny, tiny person, so I don't remember getting surgeries. So this was like really my first legitimate surgery. But this was like a five minute operation, and for me it felt like an hour. So when I was little, I uh fought the anesthesia like the little like sleeping medicine they give me um and i still did that when i was six but now i really don't i don't really fight through it anymore okay if you don't know what that means it's basically like where you just where like it doesn't work you just cry and cry and cry and cry that to give you even more and then it still still don't still doesn't work and my mom was scared about the whole get, putting me to sleep thing because she thought i was gonna i was gonna fight it because when i was little i i did i fought, fought it a lot according to my mother and so, so they didn't really put me to sleep. They gave me this laughing gas. And they put me under it because my eyes had to be open, obviously. So I, w I don't remember anything because I was all loopy, but I just remember them just taking tweezers. And I remember, I was like, what are you doing to my eyeball? And I was like, so confused. I couldn't see out of one eye at one point. Like I, it felt like there was pitch blackness in the one eye. Like I had fainted or something. But it just literally took like three minutes. And I came out of there, and he's like, "All right, just don't really like eat anything. Just go home and take a nap." And I'm like, "Okay." And when I was like really would be, I'm all I was so would be in the car that I was talking and laughing the entire time. And so when I got home and I took a nap, and when I woke up. I had to put eye drops, I had to keep putting eye drops in, not the same ones that tried to get the metal out of my eye, it was because the metal was already out, just to keep it from irritating, because they took tweezers into my eye, and it was like, in the corner over here, I can't remember what eye it was, but it was like, it was like, kind of like, in, into my eye, it wasn't just like, on my pupil or anything. That is my short little story of how I got metal in my eye, and I don't tell that story often I say like I got metal on my eye like that's like one of the surgeries I've had not really surgery it was more of just a tweezer done but that was like one of my first really surgeries that I remember and I'm sorry I didn't have more detail like I was also like I almost died in that surgery but like this was just I just want to make a video and I wanted to tell a story so yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up also, subscribe if you want more videos. If you guys want have any more stories or any other types of stories that you guys want me to tell, comment below and also comment below what kind of series uh, this series should be called. Um, and yeah, so sorry I have not made a video in a while. I will try to upload weekly. I don't know. I can't promise you anything, but I'll make sure I do that. And yeah. Love you guys so much, and stay beautiful, and yeah, bye!